Hey, welcome back to our channel. So today we just got off of an MSC Seascape cruise and we want to talk about the facts of things, not the fire that you see on the internet. There is a lot of bad reviews out there and a lot of uh, complaints and things like that about MSC. And we're just gonna address things factually about what we heard, what we saw on YouTube channels and what we experienced on the Seascape. Yes. So, we forgot to say at the very beginning, we're not talking about the Yacht Club with this. Okay, the Yacht Club is the special category of MSC that is like the haven on Norwegian, and it is it is a special category. It is more expensive. We are not talking about that today because we haven't experienced it yet. Yes. Um, we want to. That'll be our next cruise. But the Yacht Club boarding is totally different. They're in and in before anybody else. They're very fast. But again, this is not about the Yacht Club. And we forgot to also say is we are seasoned cruisers. We've been on Royal Caribbean, Holland America, Carnival, Norwegian, now MSC, and a lot of, um, not just one of those, a lot of Royal Caribbean. So we know what cruising's all about. So we have a good base. And we kind of have an expectation, right? Yes. But we're realistic expectation. And yes. I think that well, a lot of these things are, um, either people have unrealistic expectations, they, they, you know, or they just, read these reviews online yes, and they, they skip MSC because of it. And it's <laughs> right. like, what are you doing? Right. And they're not I that well known. I kind of a secret though. I kind of did too. Because, because actually, the price is low. <laughs> the prices are lower. So if you go and look, I think they're equivalent to a Royal Caribbean. Yes. Right? So if we're, if we're looking at who's equivalent to what, Princess, Royal Caribbean, I think they're equivalent to a Royal Caribbean. And Royal Caribbean's prices got out of control. And they, we've gone on a yes. ton of them. Yes. A ton of Royal Caribbean yes. cruises. And they got out of control. Right. MSC is much more budget friendly. Yeah. But I think it's so level above Carnival. Yeah. Just where I'm putting things in yeah. kind of perspective. We went to, on a Western Caribbean cruise, eight night cruise, and we did see the reviews beforehand and they're terrible. They're it's terrible. surprising. It's, I think it is the most poorly reviewed cruise line out there. And so we had to see for ourselves, are these reviews true? Or is it just people like complaining or not yeah. knowing what a cruise is? So. Yeah, we and, we, and we have a lot of friends at cruise too, and yeah. they actually stayed away from MSC because of the bad reviews. Yeah, and absolutely. We were a little nervous, but because we of the bad reviews, <laughs> we're not going to lie to you. We, we have friends that have, have, have gone on, family members that have gone on MSC and love it. So we heard both sides. We had to see it for ourselves. Yeah. This is not a sponsored video. We paid for the cruise. We had to find out, so we had to bring you the truth and not, like he said, the fire. Anyways, so okay. let's get started. Let's start with the boarding. Okay, boarding, mm -hmm. super easy. Yes. People complain, it takes forever. Can't get on the ship, I couldn't stand, I stood in line for hours, whatever. Our boarding was 15 minutes. 15 probably tops, you stand, you go through a little security section where they make sure, you know, you scan your luggage, then you go through a short little line. It wasn't yeah. very long at all. They, they um, check you in, you're walking through the terminal, they're clapping. Yay! That's it. And that then was your, so fast. Your keys are at your door. You can go up at any time. Your luggage probably won't be there for a couple hours. It's typical. Yes. The cruise. So we just want to talk a little bit about getting off the ship at the end with our boarding process. So that was another thing that people said it was a complete nightmare. <laughs> they were standing outside in the hot sun, the no pouring water, rain. pouring rain. So it was tough. like, there was a lot of drama around it, right? Um, we found that like, there's a, first off, you can carry your own bags off, which I think is a great idea. We went down there about, you said you could get off at 7.20. We went down at 7, 7 o'clock, got in the line, and at 7.20, the line was moving. We were off the ship within minutes, I would say 10 minutes. And Probably. we were at the Port of Miami, so we parked in the parking lot at the Port of Miami, so yep. we were in our car by 8. By 8, in and driving away. So, yeah, so we got in line earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, to be honest, the line scared us a little bit. It was a long line. When we got down there, we are like, oh my God, we should have got, got up earlier for this. But it went quick, yeah, right? Didn't need to. And at least how it was for us, when you got off and you went through customs, you rolled your bag through, they face scan you. You don't even have to pull your passport up and you're gone. Yep. That's easy. it. Like I so, said, easy. out by 8 o'clock. No yep. big deal. Yep. All right, let's talk about food. This is one of the biggest complaints that I've heard online about MSC, that the food is terrible, the food is this, the food is that. Okay, here's the thing. If you're going on a cruise looking for Michelin star food, th that's not where it's at. It's not Michelin star quality. That's not what a cruise is about. It is good food. Is the MSC food good? Yes. Is it the best I've ever had? No, but I don't expect 
the best I've ever had on a cruise. Right. And we're not telling you to lower your expectations. The food was really good. It was great. It was good. Yeah. Right. And we didn't do specialty dining. We didn't. There's a lot more. You could pay more for the specialty specialty dining. We can't comment on that. Right. We didn't eat it. Right. But we we I heard it's great. We heard it's great. Mm -hmm. People raved about it that yeah. we talked to that were on the cruise. They they loved it. Um, there is a, obviously an additional cost to it, and it's pretty high. Yeah. We won't lie to you. But the we go to dinner and we go and do sit down dinner and for dinner and breakfast we in the dining room in the dining room every yes. time the so, included dining room that you get we do that we right. only and you know I thought all the meals there was a, a good menu I think there was a lot to choose from yep. you know there was a couple of misses I go to a regular restaurant there's a miss here and there and that's fine yes. and there were a lot of hits I liked a lot of the desserts I liked a lot of the appetizers yep. there was a lot my kids always found something that they loved in the dining room and we like to be waited on we like to sit down um, but the other options so again if you're a sit down kind of person go to the dining room every meal you can right. totally do that there is a buffet. There's a buffet on every cruise, right? Yes. And if you're not a buffet person and you know that. And you know that. You know if you're a buffet you, person yes. or not. Right. And I, I know I'm not a big buffet person. Right. I, I, I feel like there's things are always going to be a little bit colder. It's a buffet. Right. They're serving thousands of people in this buffet, right? But you can find things for sure. Right. There's a salad bar on every everything you can do. If you like salad, there's a salad bar. And there what people weren't crowded in there. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. wasn't like people were bumping in you. We found that on some cruises that you know there's so many people in there that it was like, oh my god, I don't even care about eating. Okay, but right? MSC, different times. Like there were yes. times that it was busier, you know, sure. like you see here, it's like it is pretty busy. And then there were times that weren't as busy. So if, if the crowds make you nervous, just wait a little bit wait and then bit. they'll they'll disperse. Yes. Like it was we could always find a seat. And obviously more seats different times, but you can always find a seat but by the buffet. But again, like he said, if you're not a buffet person, then don't go on a cruise expecting the buffet to change your mind. It just isn't skip the buffet, go to the dining room, go to the specialty dining. But if you do want to go to the buffet, we went for snacks and kind of in between meals. They do have some pretty good pizza. I will tell you that. They do. It's pretty good pizza and you can always find it. You can always wait for a hot pizza to come yes. out. Um, and so if it's not right for you, like if you don't want to take one that's the last slice because you don't like cold pizza or whatever, you can you can honestly find what you what you would like on the buffet. Right. So if they you, say it's the best pizza on, on Etsy though, which I would agree it's the best pizza at Etsy, not the best pizza in the world. <laughs> right. I mean, we, we have nicer, we have right. better pizza places around our area, right? right? That but not, but, but of, of the cruise ships we've been on, it's the best pizza. It's great. Right. You can find stuff at the buffet. There's great stuff on the buffet. There's and desserts, they have the ice cream. They have ice cream. They have the ice cream. And what I like that MSC does that the other cruise lines don't is that they have somebody that actually does the ice cream for everybody. You know, because it's like you go in Royal Caribbean, there's an ice cream thing by the, the, the pool. Kids get too much. They're trying to make a huge one. It's on the floor. There's ice cream everywhere. Yes. They and not they're... allow you to do it yourself on MSC. No, so. and, and I found that when you let people do it themselves, they're shut down more often than they're open because they're cleaning them. And they're cleaning up around them. And people overuse that or whatever right? right so I actually do like it too that you have to go up they, they actually put all your your sprinkles on for you yep. they do all the things that you would want from a thing yeah. it's just that they do it for you right. so I know people complain about that because they didn't wait in line for ice cream and they just right. want it readily available to them listen if even if the machine was there for self-service you would stand in a much longer line because every kid yes every 10 year old line. is doing an ice cream like this so yes Overall, I think the food in the buffet was good. It was comparable to any other buffet on any other cruise line we've been on. Um, is it the best food you're going to eat? No, it's not. It's a buffet, but it's great for quick things. It's great if you miss the dining at the time. Or if you just want to try something, yeah. you could just try something. Right. Like, you know? if, if there was something I didn't like, I just didn't eat it. I just moved on. I got over it. I didn't right. get, write a review really quick. Ah, it's a chicken sandwich. I didn't do yeah. that. But she found things that she really did like. I did. It was shocking. Yeah. So anyways, all right. Um, people complain that the, you know, if you got the drink package standing in line for drinks, or even if you got like the non-alcoholic drink package, you stood in line forever and you couldn't get drinks. Not true at all. If you went to the buffet at lunch, you could ring a little bell and they would run up to your table and go, what would, they were what, so would, quick. what would you like for a drink? You're like, they, they, it's almost like they dropped from the ceiling, turn around and like, yeah. What, what's your drink order? Right? Yeah. So they're very quick with that. Yes. So a lot of the tables had that option where you push the button and they come up and, and give you drinks. Yeah. Otherwise, you could walk up to any bar. You might There were wait. bars all over the ship. Yeah. Everywhere there was a bar. Yeah, and you maybe wait five minutes. Maybe. Right? Maybe. And yeah. it wasn't three deep. Like, I mean, I'll be honest, we were on a carnival cruise and I had a drink package and I was four or five deep. You had to literally like punch in. Yeah. Like, it's going to take me a half hour to get a drink. 
yeah. can I have two or whatever, right? And so anyways, at the end of the day, it was very easy. They were very accommodating. Yeah. Most of the bartenders remembered what you got, and which is shocking because yeah. they serve a ton of people. And they just had it ready for you and they were ready to go. Right. So not a problem at all. And the software, the software drinks, the drink package. The soft drinks. Soft drinks mm -hmm. were awesome. Yes, you call those software drinks. <laughs> it I works in computers. I have a computer guy. Anyways, all right. Okay, so, wait, real quick while you're talking about the people who work there. Um, I think the service was really great on MSC. I've heard complaints about that as well. They they were not friendly. I thought I thought everybody was friendly. Uh, the person that took care of our cabin was friendly. Our waiters were fantastic. Yep. Um, the bartenders were, were fantastic. Everybody think, everybody was friendly. I didn't find you know. anybody who was rude. No. So Nobody I don't know what ship you were on, but the seascape had really nice people. Yeah, seascape had great people. Oh. Okay, so going to the the service as well, people complained that the ship was dirty. They're like, you might as well take pictures the first five minutes you're on because it'll never look that clean again. Yeah. Oh my the crystal, God, the drama. Go, go in and take pictures of the crystal staircase, which is beautiful. Yes. Uh, take pictures of it immediately. You'll never, you're never going to see it that clean again. You Wrong. liars. You Wrong. liars. We expected like this dirty ship. I saw so many people cleaning in between everybody. They were vacuuming. They were wiping down that crystal staircase all the time, all day all long. Day. They were cleaning up at the pool. They were cleaning up, vacuuming, and cleaning the carpets in the hallways of the cabins. Yep. They were cleaning that ship at all times. Our room was sparkling clean when we got there, um, and it continued to be cleaned every single day, and he did a fantastic job. Yep. The dining rooms were clean. The, the um, Everything. Everything was clean. The bathrooms your, your were Your bathrooms clean. were sparkling clean. Yes. Everything was clean. You didn't run out of anything in any of the bathrooms or any of the stuff like that. Right. Um, I saw people cleaning at all times. The, literally, there's a lot of kids in a lot of glass and marks on glass with kids. It's just, you know, people, kids put their face against it, whatever, right? It was, you never saw marks on those glasses. Right. They, they, they were constantly the cleaning them. They were, they were behind it. So, right. So I don't know who well, was saying that or why, but yeah. the, the ship is super clean, guys. It's really clean. Very, it's very well done. Yeah. Um, okay. So entertainment. I love myself a good show. I love singing and dancing. If you're going on a cruise expecting Broadway, well, you're going the wrong place. That's in New York. Don't go on expecting Broadway. Go on expecting to be entertained. MSC knows their crowd. They know who's on board. So you're going to hear music from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. They know they're not catering to Gen Z. They're catering to us. So I heard the music I loved. I heard the 80s and I heard the 90s. We went to the shows. We went to a show every night because I wanted to, yep. again, people are like, the shows are terrible. Stop. Stop with your negativity because I thought the shows were great. I thought like, and one great thing about the shows is that on other cruise lines, the shows are an hour, an hour and a half. Like if I had to sit through Cats one more time, oh my God, that's the worst. <laughs> the, the Cats, we did it twice. I, I say one more time because we had to do it a second time. It was horrible, horrible. And it was long. MSC has it right. They have a 35 minute show. They know people's attention span. I want to see singing and dancing. And then he wants to move on, right? So yes, 35 minutes. And on top of that, like it's, it's, it's entertaining, yes. right? It's the music you want to hear. It's quick. It's entertaining. The shows. So we went to the shows probably 10 minutes early. So we're yeah. probably there an hour, yeah. right? So, you know, I 45 minutes good. an hour and there was seats always available, yeah. which is great. The, actually, they had a lot of people that went to and attended. They, they, they there did, was quite a few people. Yeah. You, I mean, you couldn't come in very late and get a whole row or anything. I mean, it was full, but we went to the comedian. I thought he was funny. I went to all the singing and dancing. I thought they were good. They, they were good dancers, good singers. Some were really into it, which made me smile. If I'm seeing, watching somebody smile as they're singing, it's making me smile. So I thought the entertainment was exactly what it should have been and actually better than other cruise lines because it was a shorter show right. that I could enjoy. And um, like I said, I'm not going for Broadway. I go to New York for Broadway. I go on a cruise to be entertained and I was entertained. Yeah. And it was, like I said, quick, quick entertainment. Boom, yes. boom, boom. 35, 40, 45 minute shows type things like that. And you're in and you're out. Right. So I loved it. Entertainment's good. Let's talk about uh, the pools. Pools. People say uh, <laughs> you you can't get a chair. Ever. Yeah. And people go down there and they throw down towels and reserve chairs all day. I watched a video where a guy went down at 7, 7 o'clock in the morning. He was like, look at them taking the chairs with their towels. Look at that. Look at that. So I was expecting, oh, no, we have to get up at 6.45 to get a chair. Not true, guys. Okay. Are the chairs right by the edge of the pool where the families go in going to be ready for you at noon? No. no. But... 
if there are chairs everywhere. You will be able to find a chair no matter what time of the day you go to the pool. It might not be the exact location you want, but you'll find a chair. And they have those infinity pools off the front, which are the adult only section. We found a chair every day on those, the ones in the water. Sometimes we had to wait a little bit for somebody to move, but we always found a chair. Like this- Was it off the front or off the back? Oh, it was off the back. Oh my God, did I see the front? The you front did. is the yacht club. They yeah, we don't get that. No, we yeah, don't we know dreamed, about that. We dreamed what the front looked like, but it was <laughs> We like, don't know what it looks yeah, like. It was gonna be our Titanic moment where I held her, but it, it <laughs> But it was, we were in the back. We were in the back. <laughs> and it, the infinity pool in the back, we found, we almost always had chairs in the pool. Yeah. Right? It was like the seated chairs that you could just sit and have your feet in the water, right? Yeah. We found those every day we went out there. Yeah. We didn't even bother with the other chairs that were out there. It was, and it wasn't it super wasn't. busy. No. And somebody complained about the smoking section that's by it too. Yes, there is a smoking yes. section that's a, like around two pieces of glass, like yes. it, whatever, right? And yes, you have to walk through it, right, to get to the thing. But we're not smokers. We're not smokers. No, I, and and, I it does, it, right? and we don't like going through smoking sections. But the way the people described it was like they had to drop to their knees. Gas masks. Wild, and they're like it they're was crawling nuts. army style through smoke. You, it's not that. It's not that bad. You walk through and it's be done with it. Right. Be done with it. It was not that big a deal. And it was not that smoky. No. Like it really, really wasn't. wasn't. And that front, our back, I don't know if think when we're at the front, the back, during those infinity pools, the adult section, they're very good about keeping the kids out. I'm not going to lie to you about that. They, they will blow their whistle and they will move them along so you don't have to worry if you want an adult section you don't have to worry about the kids yeah. coming in and splashing if you're looking for to sneak your kids in there that's not the place they're not going to let you have no to do and it. there's a bar right there do you want to grab well the, the other one that only serves gelato and something else though oh yeah well, no there's a gelato one a bar here and a bar over here remember there's one of the really far side oh the far side yeah. areas, right bars. we sat in the same spots anyways but at the end of the day we get we found a place every time the, the pools were busy, but they're not, they were not overcrowded where you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to slide in between two people. That's not comfortable, right? right? Nobody was in, you, know, like you weren't sitting shoulder to shoulder with strangers, with right. people touching you. It was great, right. right? And you had the opportunity to, you know, and if, you're, and if you're going to the kids, the area pool, like that, that obviously was more busy. The jungle and, pool. Right. There, there's a jungle busy. pool. Then there's another pool that has all the kids climbing stuff and there's the water slides. And obviously that's going to be busier and you're going to sit on the edge and you know, you might not get a chair right next to the pool, but I would say it was on par with pretty much any other cruise, yeah. depending on what time you went to the pool, how busy it was. My kids spent so much time on those water slides. They loved them. And of course they did stand in line sometimes and other times they're like, it was empty. They knew when to go. They yeah. knew when the busyness was. Right. There's also a lot of hot tubs on the ship um, that were quite busy, but you had to figure out when right. to go. That's it. I mean, right. but so, they had both. They had some circle hot tubs by the jungle pool. They had the long hot tubs by the other side of the pool. I thought they were good. Sure, they were busy sometimes, but it wasn't that you could never get in there. And they're, and they're hot, but not hot, right? Yeah. So it, that makes sense. It was definitely a lot warmer water in it, but if you're expecting a hot tub at your house where it's the perfect temperature right. and it's, you know, whatever, it's not gonna be that. They were hot so than the Norwegians, I can say that. <laughs> the Norwegians were, Norwegians not, were not even hot at all. They were not. like lukewarm bath water. Yes, not good. Yeah. Um, okay, so rooms. Rooms. Um, I didn't see a lot of complaints about the rooms, except that they were small. Um, it's a cruise, right? Unless you're getting a suite or a huge yacht club suite, they're going to be the same size. They are right. And I actually thought ours was a little bigger. Um, we, I, th I thought it was standard. I thought the, the, yeah, one of our rooms had a bathtub. Yeah, one of our rooms had a bathtub, right. which is shocking. And it was a smaller room, which right. had a bathtub, which right. is okay. And it was just the Bella category, which is like the lowest category you can get on. But if you have kids. And you want to take a cruise in baths or something your kids are used to. And this uh, is a full size bathtub too. Yeah. It was a big bathtub because we had the the other room we had was in the uh, it was in the aria uh, um, uh, category. Yes. And we just had the stand up shower, which is so small. But again, so typical for a cruise. Like yeah, you're like I'm not a big person, and I'm like I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit in here. <laughs> yeah. If you want to feel like a big person, go on a cruise go and get in the shower. Yeah. But the other room had a bathtub, which is the full stand-up shower, so a lot of room. So if you want that, definitely yeah. go for a room like so that. So it was, actually I never saw a bathtub on a cruise before. Huh? I've seen them, we just haven't had them. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe yeah. We, that's just so, me. Okay. So I think that was the, that was the majority of, of I mean, but that's yeah. a lot of complaints, right? So when you're going to, to book an MSC cruise, and I see so many people online going, I'm really scared to book an MSC cruise because of all the poor reviews. Don't be scared, those reviews are garbage. Yes. garbage it's just people complaining because they don't know what a cruise is about they a cruise is a very specific thing you're not going for broadway you're not going for michelin star it is 
a really, really fun vacation it that is. takes you overnight to different countries and different islands and it's in boarding in boarding and onboarding to get to those islands is easy right it's super quick and easy you get on you get off that's it it's super easy and next thing you know people are going to complain that they're losing money at a casino <laughs> and then you're right. like well, what the hell what i mean if you want like how often have you won at a casino <laughs> right. right and so Anyways, like knock it off. I, like, I feel bad. I, right. I feel bad for MSC because I don't know how they can get out from underneath all of these negative reviews that are unwarranted. There's no reason for them. This right. cruise is fantastic. I would put it on par with Royal Caribbean and Royal Caribbean is almost double the price. Yep. Now, it, and it's better than I would rank it better than Norwegian, Holland America and Carnival. Um, so I definitely think it's on par with our favorite cruise line. It's, now it's one of our favorite cruise lines. Now, yes. once we go on the Yacht Club, we might, you know, and it might go right above. We don't know because we've not we gotta been be, on the Yacht Club. We've got to be prepared for that because I think yeah. once you go to Yacht Club, you don't come back. Yeah, I think that's it's what that. We, that's what we've heard. We've heard that. Yeah, they can't go back. Yes. So. And then you have to, like... But the majority of people going on MSC, MSC are not going in the Yacht Club. That's why we wanted to do this video. That's why we started in the regular portion of MSC and on one of their newest, biggest ships. Because people were like, oh, there's too many people, not enough staff. There was plenty of staff. I plenty. think they did a great job. I think yep. they did a great job. We had a fantastic yep. time. Um, we are really excited to go on another MSC cruise next time. And... Um, like I said, this is all very honest because we paid for the cruise ourselves. This yep. is, we paid for know. ourselves and if you're like, we lost the casino. So if we're going to be <laughs> negative about anything, <laughs> we did we lose at the casino. Right. Anyways, that's it. Yeah. That's our, that's our review of MSC Seascape. You know, give them a shot. Give them a, take a look at what they have. It's yeah. much cheaper than a Royal Caribbean cruise right now. I don't know why Royals prices went through the roof. I don't know why. Right. I know they're busy again, but it is on par with that. Yeah. And you you'll see a lot of negative reviews. This is the, Ignore this is all facts. Yeah. Um, we're like, like how I said, they didn't pay for us to go on the cruise. There's yeah. no, there's, there's no reason to lie to you. Right. I mean, there's, this is what we normally do in every, and our expectations you. were kind of low. I won't lie to you. <laughs> we, we were like, listen, it's a trip. Let's just go yeah, on. Let's it's just gonna go be, and it's going to be, we we'll need a break. We'll report if it's bad. Right. We, 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 we said that before and we'll tell them the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. We only found mostly good. So yeah. Yeah. Anyways. All right. That's, so that's it. it. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, super thanks is always welcome. If you want to buy us a coffee, yeah. we're, we're, we're not uh, opposed to drinking it. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye.